Hi, today we are going to see how to install Kafka on Windows. Uh, this is going to be a single node installation, not the cluster setup. So let's get started. So before we look at the actual setup, I also like to give an important information. I have also tied up with simplylearn.com to bring courses at massive discounts to you guys. So you can check the links uh, in, the, in this particular video's description and you should be able to get discounts of 30% or 20% but depending on the live training and the courses. So these courses, they are valid till the end of December 2019. So please uh, make sure to check them out. Okay, so let's quickly look at the required software. And before that, uh, a quick in introduction to the Kafka. So as you guys know, the Apache Kafka is a distributed, fast and scalable messaging queue platform, which is capable of publishing and subscribing to the streams of records, which is similar to most of the messaging queue applications or any enterprise messaging, messaging systems. So uh, below are the required steps that we are going to perform. So first thing is download and install the 7-zip. Second one, make sure to download either the JDK entirely or the JRE is also enough to run Kafka without any problem. And uh, you can download Kafka from this particular link, which is uh, given the point three. And in the step four, we are going to edit two files, uh, server.properties and the zookeeper.properties. And step five, we are going to start the zookeeper, then we need to start the Apache Kafka and finally we are going to test the Kafka by creating a topic, listing the topics, uh, starting the producer, pushing the content and then verifying the same content through the Kafka consumer. So as you can see here, I've already downloaded Kafka, which is the latest version uh, 2.12. Let's ex extract this. So this is a tar.zz uh, tar file. You have to extract it. Okay. So first let's copy this and put into a C directory. And let's change the name to Kafka. It's easy to handle that way. Okay, a quick, quick tour about the directories that are part of this Kafka installation. So first one, the bin directory, it represents all the binary files which are helpful to start the Kafka server. On different operating systems. And as we are working with Windows machine, there will be a folder named Windows under uh, the binary directory. Okay, so these are all the files that are required to start uh, Kafka and Zookeeper on Windows. Okay, and you can see all the shell files and these can be used to start your Zookeeper and Kafka specifically on Linux. Okay, then we have the config directory. So this uh, contains all the configuration details about Kafka server, Zookeeper and the logs. All the configurations have their default values set up. And if you want to change anything, uh, I'll show you how to change and what to change. Then you have the libs directory. Uh, these are all the libraries that are required uh, to successfully start your Kafka and Zookeeper services. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go to our key configuration files and make a couple of changes. So first one is the server.properties. Let me edit it. So we are going to make change uh, uh, with only one uh, log dot directories property. Uh, okay. So by default, it uh, writes the log files to the temp location. I'm going to just change it to C Kafka. Slash Kafka logs. And you don't need to change any of the properties here. Everything is fine with the default setting. Let's close this. Second one, let's open the zookeeper dot properties. And here, check the 
data directory and let's change this one to C Kafka and zookeeper hyphen data. So this is going to be the directory. Okay, so we are done with our changes here with the configuration files. So let's go ahead and start our services. Let me copy this location. So either you can open the command prompt or the uh, Windows PowerShell, everything, anything should be fine. CD to our Kafka. So the first service we are going to start is the Zookeeper. And uh, uh, it's always mandatory to start the Zookeeper prior to your Kafka server. And as you can see, the Zookeeper is already uh, embedded within the Kafka downloaded file. So you don't need to download any specific Zookeeper for this. Okay, so let's start our Kafka server. Bin Windows, Zookeeper server hyphen start bat. And then we have to pass the config file to this zookeeper.properties. Okay, and as you can see, our zookeeper has started and it has binded to the port 2181. So we don't see any errors. So let's minimize this window. Now let's open another command prompt. And now let's start our Kafka server. So as I said, you can execute these commands on your PowerShell window as well. Bin Kafka server start, Kafka server start, and then the config location. Server dot properties. Okay, so as you can see, our Kafka has started successfully, and the version is two dot three dot zero. Let's minimize this. We can go to our Kafka location, and uh, as you can see, within the Kafka logs directory that we created, uh, these are all the various logs that have been created by a Kafka okay so if you have any questions or uh, you see any errors it's better to look into the log files and see what has gone wrong okay and all the zookeeper data will be saved in this location okay so so now as we have successfully started our zookeeper and the Kafka services let's go back and create simple topic okay so I'm going to create an another command prompt. Okay. CD Kafka. So I'm going to create a topic called a test topic. Bin Windows Kafka Topics dot bat. I'm going to pass the create option Zookeeper localhost to one eight one replication factor. I'm setting it to one and number of partitions set to one and the topic name test topic okay sorry I missed the option one here replication factor one
okay so as you can see now we have uh, we have successfully created our test topic now uh, let's see what topics are available in our kafka server bin windows i'm oh, sorry kafka topics dot bat hyphen hyphen list zookeeper localhost 2181 okay so as you guys can see uh, there's a test topic what we've created okay so so far so good now let's uh, Uh, send some messages so to send send some messages kafka comes with a command line client uh, which will take your input uh, from either a file or from the standard input and uh, it can send out as messages to the kafka cluster so by default each line will be sent as a separate message it doesn't matter whether you're inputting it from the standard input or uh, whether it's being read from the file okay so now let's start our uh, Kafka consumer. So bin windows Kafka console producer dot bat broker list local host nine zero nine two and topic is this topic so as you can see this command is going to give you a small uh, command line where you can input the message okay so let me put a couple of messages this is my first message here's my second message and final message okay so as you can see we have sent the messages and uh, to receive these messages and uh, on the other end we need to start the consumer so let me open another command line and start the consumer now windows Kafka console consumer dot bat bootstrap server local host 9092 so we want to read the information from the test topic what we created and from the beginning so there are various uh, options which each of these bat provides so you can just execute the bat and see uh, what options are available okay there is some error bootstrap there's a typo here okay so as you can see our consumer was able to successfully pull all the information uh, or the three messages specifically from our producer and if you go back to your uh, Kafka server log uh, you can see what are the background activities that are being performed here okay you can also get this information from the uh, log files so you can see uh, what's a cleanup policy what's the segments how many partitions are there what's the data retention time period for this message and so on okay so as i said you can uh, execute the various uh, bad files and see what output or what various options are available for you uh, to execute with kafka so i hope this might have uh, given you a, a, a quick idea of how to set up the kafka on windows so in the next video we'll see how to uh, set up kafka on a cluster on linux and again if you like my videos Please subscribe for upcoming content.